Hi, welcome to module one. I'm just going to give a quick overview of the module. I'm going to share my screen and I'll just sort of show you as we go through this module. Um, I can get it open there. Okay, so if we come in here, we are, nah, I don't need that. Sorry. So we're past the begin here and we're in this first module. If you come here, you'll see there's a summary of what we're going to do and everything that's due. This first module is going to have a, uh, a this video here. Then there's going to be the lesson on what is philosophy. I do take a lot of questions to the exam from this, so make sure to read that and watch the videos. And then you will find a reading on what is ethics. It's sort of a general reading. I'll also take questions from the exam on that. And then during the course of this module, you should do an introductory icebreaker, uh, e, uh, you know, say, hi, I'm so-and-so and tell us about yourself. Um, there is no, uh, there, there, that's 10 points extra credit. If you don't do it, that's up to you, but I would encourage you to do it. And then uh, the module one exam, the module one exam will include what is the philosophy lesson, the reading, but it will also have some questions over the syllabus and the summary paper. It'll have a couple questions asking you how those work. And the idea is this is kind of to make sure you've done everything to prepare to this point. So uh, those are all there. The exam has not been added. I'll be adding that this afternoon as I'm making these videos first, uh, but that's basically the way it is. This one is really gonna get into you know, what is philosophy? Why are we studying ethics here in this part of philosophy? And then kind of getting into how we study ethics and how the course is set up. I wanna make two quick notes before we go any farther. First of all, this semester, this is for uh, fall of 2022. I assume I'll uh, change the video for spring, uh, but uh, I'm making it right now. And one of the things is I have, we in the past had a textbook get purchased. And so this is a little bit of a change up uh, where we're actually using an embedded textbook or embedded materials. That way you don't have to buy a textbook. That should save you at least $100, $150, which I think most of you are probably happy about or should be. Um, and then the other thing is, is uh, that so that might require a little bit of, you know, just sort of new things and some little minor hiccups that come along with that. Which brings me to the second thing, which is I always offer people if they see errors in grammar and dates and just things are missing that sometimes because when you're making this big switch over, you end up forgetting those types of things. If you let me know about those things, I always offer people a point of extra credit to several points of extra credit, uh, depending on what it is. If it's something really big, I'll, I'll sometimes give people four or five points of extra credit uh, if it's you know really big, but I do that. And so I want you to kind of uh, be aware of that. So if you see errors, please let me know. I do follow a rule that is, you know, I will give extra credit until I fix the error. Once the error is fixed, I don't give extra credit anymore. So uh, it usually encourages me to make sure to correct things, but it also encourages uh, other people to, uh, to find things and let me know so I can improve the course.